93, case number 2017-009-206, address 1380 Southwest H Street, page 89 and page 93, respectively. I am an attorney. Um, I would love it if Lash would offer me the 60 days that he's been offering to everybody this afternoon. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Well, you know what's better than what you are? I'll make a motion, I'll make a motion for 30. He's so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, wait, wait. wait. Um, we have two cases here today. One is for um, failure to obtain a warrant, which is the case on page 89. 89? And, 89. and you know the other page? The other 93. 93. 93. 93. Okay. Um, the first one's for failure to obtain a warrant. Um, there was an open air retail market on this property previously when we were cited. Um, once we were cited, we stopped operations. We've been inoperable for more than a year. Um, I've spoken to the city attorney, and if we proffer that we're no longer seeking that warrant, she's agreed to close that case. That's correct. You okay? I want to understand this because we have so many problems with the warrant issue. Why is the city not seeking this warrant at this time? It's not the city that's now seeking the warrant. It's now the, the TUP for the farmer's market at 1380 Southwest A Street, which was um, signed off erroneously in July, has been revoked. So they do not have a warrant at that property anymore. And uh, because there are other open code violations from building uh, as, as, um, that are unrelated and would not be um, any permit they receive from building, for this farmer's market they were going to do would not then um, legalize what had been done so because they have an overhang and other issues with the building so well, you the, know the warrant itself should have never been signed off by zoning because the farmer's market does not the farmer's market code section does not allow it to be issued if there are any other open code violations so that error was fixed yesterday uh, with the revocation and so it is our understanding that the property owners are agreeing that they will no longer be seeking a warrant for this place. We still have the kiosk construction. You thing. read that today. The second one to deal somewhere. with. <laughs> maybe um, thing about yeah. maybe. So, but based upon that representation, obviously that they're removing it, then they would be in compliance. So that's that they're not the going to be doing that. And what's the penalty back to the city for mistakenly doing stuff? Just out of curiosity. There is no penalty. No. Oh, but I figured. Okay, Everybody's right. right. entitled to change their mind. Uh, you know, right, right. You know, it's not a perfect world. We're not perfect people. Uh, however, I'm going to motion for 90 days because this is going to get more if, complex. If, 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 I can, if I can just say this okay, go before ahead. you even get there, uh, this is was heard before the special master on several occasions. The last time, they were given 30 days, no further, from special master to hear so Why are we hearing it again? Because, because they no ask for an extension of time, everybody's allowed to come and ask. Whether you choose to grant it, they don't. They would not even need 90 days because they are now proffering for right. this one that they are in fact not going to seek the warrant anymore, and so therefore we're going to close this case. Right. So nothing needs to happen. We'll be so then why, so then why, uh, why are they recommending you recommending 60 days then? We're not. We're, we're not. They're not. We're not. How much time do you need? He doesn't. Page 89 is being taken care of. Okay. Okay. Second case. Okay. There, right, there's a second case. Victoria Hernandez, City Attorney, City of Miami. Hey, a, up, please. <laughs> there is uh, a second case. Um, the second case, they're seeking an extension of time. Okay. We are asking for no further extension of time and immediate compliance to remove all the containers that they have on the property. Um, so that is the case that they're seeking time on. We would object. They have been given plenty of extensions. We're hearing this uh, more time now? Right, that's the yes. second case. Right. And, and, your case. case. And, and your recommendation from the city is that no extension? No extension of time and immediate plus compliance. immediate compliance, which is this board, which you know that you can always make orders of compliance, and one of the orders of compliance that we are seeking is that this board request that those containers be removed within the next 24 to 48 hours and if not, immediate fines start uh, on the property, or the city can go in and remove them if you allow us to. Your, your, your Honor, just so that I can shed a little bit more light on this, um, we obtained our farmer's market permit for this property. The city alleges that it was improperly issued. When? In June, I believe. June of this year? Yes. 
Um, and we also obtained a building permit in April of this year for the kiosks that are on site. When? April 17th of this year, which is still valid through October 14th. So about 44 days from now. However, it was, and that was what we were discussing, that it was issued in error. It should not have been issued. No permit for a farmer's market should have been issued. They don't even meet the square footage. So... What, what is the square footage? Um, it's supposed to be more than 5,000 feet for the market itself. And, and the it, lots, their lots, is about 5,000. So a lot, it doesn't... But not, not, the, not the area for the farmer's market. Right. So it's, in fact, in violation of the code. It's they're not allowed not to Wait, 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 one at a time. They're, they're not allowed for the code to have a farmer's market. So they're about to get the code. What? If they have a farmer's market, yes. Okay. All right. And so I, I want to I wanna understand the mechanics of the, the comedy of errors that we're listening to because the city issued them a permit erroneously. Is that right? A conditional but it was erroneous. It was. It, it shouldn't have been issued. Well, it should not have been issued for two reasons. One, because the lot size is not adequate for the farmer's market. And two, because they have pending code enforcement violations. And this board, many, many years ago, made sure that certain legislation was promulgated where in no permit should be issued for um, different activities if you have pending blatant code enforcement violations. I know, that's what I'm saying, it's just a comment of error because obviously somebody uh, messed up and issued an erroneous permit, uh, which I have a problem with, uh, because if, if, that, if, if that wouldn't have happened, if that wouldn't have happened, we, we wouldn't be discussing this today, and there wouldn't be all this um, uh, nasty stuff on in the papers and all that stuff. Um, I, so, I think as well, they've been trying to get their permitting and they, the applicant, has not obviously done what they needed to do many moons ago. So, it's, you know, both does, ways. Does, does anybody try to get anything many moons ago? Everybody does it yesterday. Our, our violation for, was for work performed without a finalized permit. We obtained our permit and we've been working towards this. We still have 44 days left on our permit. I mean, we just found out yesterday right. that the farmer's the market permit was revoked. The case is since like May 2017. I, I think that the city has been more than generous. They don't, they're not even going to accrue fines as of this date because of all the extension of time that the city has already given them. Well, I've never chose May 22nd. On one case. 17. On one case. Right? Right. Um, and, and, you know, it, it, it's been over a year. And we, it took us nearly a year to obtain our farmer's market permit. But you can't. They just told you you can't have one. They didn't tell us that. No, I, I, I said this is a comedy of errors. But, uh, how is because, because they made a mistake, which it's the city of Miami, right? And I love it very much, and that's why I'm sitting here for 12 years now. 20-something for him, okay, which I don't even know. Man, that would be. Anyway, you know, that, how, how does who wrong make a right? I'm sorry. How does two wrongs make a right? I don't. Of course not. Like, why I, did that? There you are. My, my client just found out yesterday that his farmer's market permit was revoked. Okay. He still has a building permit. If they're going to require us to remove from the property, we need time to remove them. I'm going to ask for the time you, it was you left need time for what? You need time for what? What's to move the structures off the site. To remove them? Yes. It's all it takes is a couple of wreckers. Yeah. I have to find a place to put them. A place? What, when, when did you find out that you couldn't have the farmer's market permit? Uh, I just want to make sure there's enough reaction time for late, you to react. Late last night. When? Monday. Wait. Late last night. Last night? Yeah, yes. That's not enough time for them to react. We've been we've been telling them that they are not supposed to have these structures on the premises for a month at least. Well, over a year to begin with, but at least a month that they have to remove them. Um, unfortunately, um, they have been basically saying since they have certain permits, that they're going to get their farmer's market, that they should be able to have them there. But just because you're planning on doing something doesn't mean that you have to have containers, storage, and proper storage on your property. It's hurricane season. We just had a storm okay, okay, last let's, week. Let's, I'm sorry, Vicky. I love you. Know, I love you. Um, but, uh, again, let's go back to the, the, the basis. Okay, the base. The base is that two walls will make a right. If they can't have it there, even though the city messed up and 
I, like I said, I want to know what's going to happen to the person that messed up, because if not, we wouldn't be having this situation right now. Uh, but two wrongs don't make a right. Okay? I mean, you know, you step between a, a rock and a hard place. I'm going to motion for one day, 24 hours. I, I, I would have to ask for more time. It's just not enough. Okay, how much time do you need? How much time do you think you need? I'm 30 go, days. We'll go 30 days? No. no. Okay. You might want to meet in the middle somewhere. We split the difference 15 days? I could go over 15 days. I'm also, I mean, I'm also, I want to know if there's a second. The commissioner is standing there, and I guess he's trying to say something. It, it, it. Well, it could, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe Carroll, I'm glad I'm not an attorney. <laughs> and if, if this board would be uh, so kind to hear me out for uh, a few minutes. Yes, sir. Um, this whole thing uh, in this particular corner started long before I became a commissioner. Um, it was uh, merchants from the area that I understood complained so much from what was going on that code enforcement that did not want to take action was forced to take action um, on that particular problem. I don't know if there are any pictures um, that you have here. The, does my office have pictures uh, of this and my staff could bring? And I apologize, I usually come prepared, but I didn't know this item was coming out and as I was heading out the door uh, I was told that it was coming up and it's important for you to see this picture because not one of you would allow this kind of stuff anywhere near your homes certainly uh, if this would be thrown out like this in Coconut Grove they tar and feather the city uh, to get rid of it if it would happen in another part of my own district, the ropes, they wouldn't allow it, or the northeast part. But they're doing this because this is a poor area of residents that many don't know their rights. Many are new immigrants uh, uh, to Miami. And they're asking for a farmer's market. Well, a farmer's market, in order to have it, you do need 5,000 minimum square feet that you could habit of open space. But beyond that, a farmer's market could only be issued by the city on a temporary basis for products that are going to be grown in the ground, vegetables, etc., within 100 miles of, of, of Miami. A real farmer's market. When they were closed down, what they had there was anything but a farmer's market. It was a flea market. Then that's why the other merchants were complaining about it, and they forced code to take action. Action they did not want to take. What they're asking for is a farmer's market, but I assure you what's going to come up there is not going to be a farmer's market because they intend to go back to the same thing. But Objection, you, cannot, you, cannot, uh, you, can, you cannot you cannot prove that now, so I can only go to what was there before. During this time, all those uh, kiosks, if you want to call it that, what I call them is what they are, one-third containers that were cut up on site, they made an industrial site between that lot and the one in back of it, the zoned uh, multifamily residential. In fact, you still have the halls of some of them that were left cut in half, and in the back one, that has nothing to do with this one. You even have 20 foot containers that are there uh, where they're still parking illegally uh, vehicles. The problem that you have right now is that none of these permits that were issued um, by individuals from this city that knew better, knew better, uh, should have ever been issued because when it was brought up by my office of numerous violations and code enforcement violations, that were there that anyone except a blind code enforcement officer could have seen. Like for instance, you take over an uh, alleyway uh, and you build it legally, not to standard, and you have in the middle a telephone uh, pole, a utility pole, that has live electricity on top. Uh, 
I've never seen that in my life, in any city, except maybe third, fourth, fifth world uh, outside of Miami. And you'll know that not just for a farmer's market, but for anything that someone comes and asks for in a piece of property, if you have code violations, and they have more than the one that I described, they cannot be issued. Now, approximately two months ago or so, uh, after uh, a magistrate gave, I think it was the second or third extension, I don't know how many extensions I've gotten in this, it's been one after another through the magistrates. Uh, knowing well, because the assistant city attorney stated that it couldn't be done because they were in not in compliance with, with code, they stated that they only needed 30 more days. But here we are. And that's why they said that they needed uh, the previous uh, 30 extensions they got. But the city attorney, right after that, sent an email to her assistant here that the Sony director was copied. Yes, Rachel. The Sony director was copied on that email. And she included what the law of our city says in a farmer's market, that you could not issue a farmer's market if you have code violations in a property. And I don't think anyone uh, can say here that there are no other. The zoning director answered in the response, that's clear. And then about a month and a half later, on behalf of the city manager, I guess it wasn't clear to him what her code says, because he signed off on it. And this is a problem that I've been having when it relates to these individuals uh, in so many properties. Commissioner, with, with all the respect, I, mean, I must ask you a question right there. Yes, please say that again. Please, okay, say that again. Who signed off on it? The zoning director, knowing darn well that it was illegal, he acknowledged it a month and a half before, and if he didn't know it, he shouldn't be working as a zoning director. I mean, the city attorney did not have to point out to him what our code is. But see, part of the problem that we're having, that I found out when I came back that it wasn't the same city that I left 16 uh, years ago. Uh, some of the other establishments owned by associates, uh, gave uh, Christmas parties to our code enforcement, building and zoning. Everybody was happy. Nobody paid a penny. And this is the kind of crap that's going on. And I could bring witness to numerous things. Commissioner, if, if, as I stated, even before you got up here, I said, who, who signed off of this and what are we going to do about that? Well, because I, I, like I said, I, I find it's a comedy of error, but the, the level of... I'm going to try to find the nicest word I can, I can say. This is not a comedy of errors. This well, is, it, this it, is being done purposely it, by people that know well, who the law is. You know, look, I, I, um, um, you know, I'm not going to say incompetence, but I'm going to say malfeasance, uh, to say the least. And that's why the first thing I say, like, who, who signed off for this? Because, you know, why, why are we doing this if, if issuing permits that can't be issued? Yeah, but to be frank with you guys, this is a small one compared to some of the stuff that I found out. I mean... The stuff that I'm finding out, uh, I don't know what's going to happen with those that signed up on this uh, throughout the last few years. Because it's outrageous what's happening, uh, in particularly, at least the area that I'm observing, that I'm responsible for in particular, uh, which is District 3. Uh, and this is why I'm here. I'm protecting those that don't know how to defend themselves. This is supposed to be, probably after Bayside, uh, the second biggest tourist area in Miami. And we're going to have it looking like if this is some kind of third world bazaar. Please, uh, th did anybody find pictures of that? I mean... I've seen them because I saw them today. But, but the bottom line is, no matter what my personal feelings are, it's illegal. It's illegal, and I'm sick and tired of seeing individuals that work for our city, whether at the lower echelon or at director level, 
trying to protect people and make what's illegal somehow because they have a title and they can sign up legal. And if I have to, just like I got to court uh, today, I will go to court on other points too to make sure that our city laws are going to be enforced and people in my district uh, in an area that affects all of the city of Miami because it's a major tourist area are going to be protected. And I, I'm sorry that I've had to come to here, believe me, no. uh, I, I don't enjoy this and I really don't care how many people are going to get uh, their next check so they can write about me crap and say lies and do whatever they want. I'm not going to be intimidated. They're not going to stop me. They can send whoever they want, uh, finding out in the MRC if they know any dirt about me so they can come at me or post it on uh, uh, sites. Uh, good luck. A lot of better people have tried and haven't been able to. But what I'm not going to do is to back off from protecting my district, my neighborhood, the city, and I'm not going to let myself to be intimidated uh, by anyone in that. If, you know, and I dare his clients show any property that they have in Little Havana that I pointed out to that I'm wrong, that is perfectly fine. And gentlemen and lady, it's frustrating when you have to come time and time again to send and show code enforcement serious violations that we have, and he sees very little as done, if that nothing. And you see it time and time again. And like I said, this particular issue was going on way before I got here uh, as a commissioner. But I have to ask, why then the code enforcement officer that was in charge for that block never saw that pole illegally and how they built illegally, like if this is a, a third world uh, neighborhood, uh, nor did they see any of the other code enforcement violations there, or numerous others that I have in my district that I won't bother you to address them uh, here. It's not the appropriate uh, place or time. But uh, I... Just wanted to express my you. opinion. Just so they can know, there's two of us up here that live in your district. <laughs> well, I didn't know that. I, 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 I didn't know that. <laughs> so we're we're aware. Uh, it's not like it's going by unnoticed. Yeah. You know. But uh, truly, uh, any of these fine chaps, the none of them live in our city of Miami. Uh, they wouldn't put up with something like that for one hour in their neighborhood without screaming, going to the top echelons of City Hall, why should those people that live in Little Havana have to put up with that? Why should we show tourists that come something of this nature, like if we're a third world country, uh, when we're not? Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Commissioner. Anyway, where were Well, like I said before, you know, you know, two wrongs don't make a right, and, that's, and, I, and I made a motion for one day if anybody wants to second, it's fine. If not, let's hear from, yeah. from counsel. Your Honor, I, I appreciate the Commissioner's impassioned speech, and I'm sure everybody's appreciative of the great work he does for his district. Um, like I said, we had a farmer's market permit that was issued. We had a building permit that was issued. We were operating under those. We just found out yesterday that it was revoked. Um, checking I built a few minutes ago, the building permit is still active. Uh, I'm going to ask for some time so we can get these off the site. Um, I was told that 30 days was too much to ask. Can we do 15? My motion would be for 48 hours, not 24. Okay. Okay, did the first one die? Uh, well, I didn't I don't know, it hasn't died yet. Is there a second to that motion or one day? Okay, there's no second. So what's next now? 48 hours. 48. Is there a second to that? I'll second that. There's a motion and a second. Roll call. Member Nemens? No. Member Patel? No. 
Member Pichal? No. Member Warren? Yes. Member Dulzaitis? No. Mr. Morlejo? No. Chairman Kuhn? I... No. Motion fails? I'll make a motion once again, one day. Okay, motion is back for one day. Okay. Is there a second? Again. I'll make a motion for for up until Saturday at, I was at midnight on Saturday. I was going to say Monday. The Monday morning is no, out there no. clean. Uh, no, no, no. My motion is until Saturday, Saturday at midnight. Is is anybody going to second that one? That's, that's even I'll, I'll second it. Okay. There's a there's a now a motion for Saturday at midnight. That's like three days. Is that what we're saying? Two and a half days. Two and a half. Okay. Is there a second to that? One? There was a second. Okay. A roll call, please. Mr. Dulaitis. No. Miss Warren. No. Mr. Pichel. Mr. Patel? No. Mr. Nimmons? No. Mr. Morlejo? Yes. Jim McEwen? Yes. Motion. It's 14. Somebody come up with Wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. Do we get everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Motion fails. fails. Three to four. Okay. I'll make a motion for seven days. I'm running out of paper. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate, unfortunately, unfortunately, I am. I'm going to make a motion uh, on the Wait, wait. Does no. this motion fail? Yep. Yeah. Is there a second? No second. All right, I'll make a motion for 36 hours, including the weekend. Well, that's sort of 36. What's that? 36. I mean, 36. Monday. No, yeah, that's Sunday. Sunday, no, Sunday 36 at midnight. is yeah. a little more than 24 hours. Just, just remember one thing. I, I realize everything that has been said here, but this this case goes back a year. Come on, that's my point. Yeah. That's my point. Yeah. Yeah. How much more? How much more time? You you know. And then, uh, like I said from the beginning, two wrongs will make a right. You know, everybody here has screwed up one way or the other. Yeah. But the point the point is, we're going to follow a code, and the code says no. No means no. When when somebody told me I was 60 years old. And they said, no, I, I had to say no too, because that was the law. I didn't want to go to jail. So I'm going to motion again oh, yes, for, sir. Uh, for Sunday at midnight. I'll say. Okay, there's a motion and a second for Sunday at midnight. Does that mean? Mrs. Zuzatis? No. I'm sorry? No. Ms. Warren? No. Mr. Prashal? Yes. Mr. Patel? Yes. Mr. Nanes? Yes. Mr. Morlejo? Yes. Chair McKinley? No. Passed. Motion passes 4 3. Okay, so 36 hours, which means Sunday at midnight. So at 12 01. Okay. That's fine. I'm not going to be there either, so I'm okay with them. Midnight, Sunday. So, okay.